Hey everybody, over on Discord on the Public Test Branch channel where they talk about upcoming changes to the game. The Void released patch 0.203.7, which should be coming live here in a couple of days. And there's quite a few here. I'm just gonna quickly talk about the ones in yellow and then I'm gonna show you the other ones in game, the before and after. So real quickly, gamepad sensitivity, save fix, acorn and birch seed drop rate increased. A lot of people have been complaining that they're not getting seeds often enough. Number of player difficulty scale tweak so if you get more people on the server difficulty will scale we don't know if it's going to be harder than it is now or less hard we'll have to wait and see uh, they tweak some food stats based on effort to craft blood pudding boar jerky bread deer stew mince meat sauce and wolf jerky now these are the it's just a few numbers here and there a few stamina a few hp minor tweaks which are really good that they're trying to balance but they're they're really minor you probably won't even notice uh, night spawning monsters despawn faster in the morning so I guess they're not going to hang around as long. Fueling AI tweaks, they spread out and circle more. Frost damage, slow down fix. After Hearth and Home, when you would take frost damage, you would slow down uh, just a little bit. And then over time, you would slow down even more. When it should be the opposite, you slow down a lot and then you gradually start to speed up as it wears off and that's what it's gonna be in the patch. And then shield tutorial trigger fix for wooden shields. Uh, I guess Hoogan's got a tutorial and they fix the trigger. Okay, the rest of these, I'm gonna take you in game and show you what they look like. Okay, so before the patch, the oven and the cooking station would not return food that you put on it if you break them. Let me show you. So I got some pies, some bread, I got some meat on there. I'm gonna grab my hammer, boom. Boom, look at that. The food is gone. Okay, now after the patch, you can put food on the cooking station and food in the oven. And if for some reason you need to break them and move them, your food will be there lying on the ground and not go to waste. And you can see here, they did a little change to the onion seed icon. The one on the left is a little darker and the new one on the right is just a little lighter. It'll pop out a little nicer when you're looking in your inventory. So after the patch, the glass wall no longer adds one to comfort. Let me show you, I even place a glass wall here and my comfort does not go up. And you can see I got the new Jacko turnip here and it still does not go up to 20. The Jacko turnip does not add comfort. Stupid glass wall, I hate you now. So I also made some changes to a few of the weapons and I've got the black metal at gear right here. You can see the stamina used to be 24 and it looks like they're gonna lower it to 18. And the movement speed was minus 10 and now they're gonna change the movement speed to minus five. So small tweaks, but dialing everything in. And they also made some changes to the black metal ax. It used to cost 20 stamina and now they're going to lower it to 14 stamina and block force was zero. And now they're going to raise it up to 20. And finally, tweaks to the bronze spear. It used to cost only six stamina and now it's going to cost eight. So this is the one that they actually increased the stamina usage on. So after the patch, it looks like they boosted the durability up on all knives to 200. And previously they were only 100 except for the black metal knife, which was 250. So before Hearth and Home, when we would parry a ranged attacker, it would stagger them. And the Hearth and Home update removed that. And this next patch looks like they're gonna bring it back. And the devs say, it's illogical, but it's fun. It gives you time to run up and give them the business. So they also say that there's going to be longer locks attack cooldowns. So here on the left, we've got what it is before the patch and on the right, what it is after the patch. And I'm gonna let this play for a few seconds here. And you notice that on the left of the locks definitely bites a lot more often than the one on the right. And I'm doing my best in both videos to stay as close to the locks as possible. So they also say they've done a torch and weapon run animation fix. And as you can see here on the left is the old one and on the right is after the patch. And I don't really see much difference, but uh, if you know what they're talking about, please let me know in the comments. And there's one here where they said the wood log 26 of 45 degree stability fix. So this is the 45 here. So I was able to get one, two, three, four, four, five pieces. 
Okay, and this is after the patch. And that's eight. So it looks like we get to do seven now. So it went from uh, five up to seven. So you can build higher. And now with October coming up, we are going to have access to craft the Jacko turnip. And it's going to require four turnips, two resin, and a workstation to make. And it's going to require resin to keep it lit. Pretty spooky.